Shortly after our marriage, we realized we wanted a life of freedom, a life of travel and adventure. We've camped at some of the country's most pristine campgrounds and explored the best attractions and excursions across the USA. Now we're going to share our favorite spots with you. Each episode, we'll be staying a night in a new RV and we'll be sharing some of our favorite features with you. We're going to introduce you to some of our favorite campgrounds and take you to some of America's best travel destinations. I'm Dan. And I'm Lindsay. And you're watching The, the Happy, Happy Camper, Camper Bucket List. List. New Orleans is a Louisiana city located on the Mississippi River near the Gulf of Mexico. Also known as the Big Easy, the city is most famous for the eccentric holiday party known as Mardi Gras. The two-week festival brings millions of visitors each year. But don't be fooled, this vibrant city is worth visiting all year round. Join us as we explore live music, Louisiana culture, and all the hidden gems that put New Orleans on our bucket list. While Mardi Gras may be the most famous festival to take place in New Orleans, you can find festivals of all shapes and sizes no matter what time of year you visit. Today, we're searching for the country's best fried chicken, and what better place to do that than the National Fried Chicken Festival? And of course, the chicken was delicious. So make sure to find a festival that's perfect for you on your trip to New Orleans. Make sure you stop in at Cafe du Monde in the French Quarter for a cafe au lait and a beignet. This world famous cafe can be found with a long line out the door on most days. But take our word for it, the beignets are worth it. If you're lucky enough to snag a table with your sweet treat, you can sit down, relax, enjoy Jackson Square, and take in the views of the French Quarter. When visiting New Orleans, you have to come check out their famous cemeteries. We're here with our tour guide, Lena. Will you tell us what makes the cemeteries of New Orleans so popular? Yeah, the cemeteries of New Orleans are often referred to as the cities of the dead because they are, as you can see, above ground. When you come on a cemetery tour, you get so much background on the history of New Orleans. If you're interested in cemeteries, this is probably the coolest one you could ever come visit. And if you're a photographer or photo buff, there is no more photogenic place on earth to take pictures than a cemetery like this. These famous cemeteries have been featured in Hollywood blockbusters and are photographed by millions of tourists every year. Make sure to take a guided tour through one of these cemeteries. You won't be disappointed. Pontchartrain Landing is by far the best RV campground near New Orleans. The unforgettable sunrises, waterfront sights, and luxury amenities are why it's the perfect place to park your rig. It's an extraordinary experience staying in an RV because we're so connected to nature, but also minutes from the heart of the city. There's truly no better way to see the city than from the window of your camper. This travel trailer is the perfect example of why we love RVing so much more than staying in a hotel. The Heartland Mallard M280 has everything that we could ask for in a camper. This comfortable travel trailer sleeps five and weighs in at a little over 6,000 pounds. It has lots of counter space for cooking and entertaining, plus a great living area, perfect for movie nights or just reclining. No matter what your plans are for your New Orleans vacation, the Heartland Mallard is the perfect camper for any adventure. We've enjoyed all the delicious Louisiana food, but tonight we just want to stay in and cook a healthy home cooked meal too. Yeah, I'm really excited to be out there just grilling, really enjoying the weather and the river. And this kitchen makes it so easy to just prep our food. It's going to be a great time.
My heart is pounding because we're at the shooting range and we're getting to shoot some guns that there's only parts of the country that you're allowed to shoot and New Orleans is one of them. We're always on the hunt for an experience that's unique to every city we visit. That's why when we heard we could shoot rare firearms in New Orleans, we knew we had to cross it off our bucket list. We just got finished shooting here at the range. Shaking. What? It was what a ton Such of fun. A rush. Oh my gosh, what a rush. <laughs> Whew. No trip to New Orleans would be complete without getting on the wild water of the Louisiana Bayou. We're out here with Ultimate Swamp Adventures and it's been an amazing ride. We hopped on a sunset airboat tour and it was stunning. Being able to see the nature and wildlife of the bayou is remarkable. The Cajun French word bayou refers to a slow moving body of water that can be found in a flat, low lying area. These wetlands cover 3 million acres and are home to alligators, blue heron, white tailed deer, and over 100 species of fish. We hope you'll have as much fun in this great city as we had when you cross New Orleans off your bucket list. So join us next time on the Happy Camper Bucket List.